Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica, I'm 26. I'm a first time mom to a 15 month old and a sixth grade teacher. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit about my second pregnancy. I'm gonna be getting ready for work as I film this video. So if I'm looking this way, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. Um, but I have a few different topics to cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first topic is just about us finding out. So if you haven't seen the last, well, a couple videos back where I kind of went back in time to August to share with you guys my son's first birthday. Um, on that day was the day I found out um, I was pregnant. Um, I had some suspicion but I wasn't sure until I took, obviously, a pregnancy test. And that night, that night was when I was for sure about being pregnant. Um, and we were trying to have another kid. Um, we want Jedediah to be, to have siblings, obviously. So we were trying, and I wanted to just share that. In case you didn't know, that I actually have, well, well, like into my adult years, I had hard times getting, even getting pregnant because of some health reasons. But um, which is why I'm so grateful to have been able to get pregnant again, and so soon, um, because we honestly didn't even know if I could get pregnant again. Um, but thankfully, I was, and thankfully the baby and I are both doing well. Um, but that's just kind of a summary. I can make a separate video on that health issue and kind of why we think that or why we thought I couldn't get pregnant again, but just kind of wanted to talk about that really quickly because I know sometimes people will be like, well, you got pregnant kind of quick, but honestly, like, I don't know how much time, like, I don't know when I can have kids or how many kids I can have, so I'm just grateful to be able to carry another baby. Um, but that is it. I just wanted to cover that. We did try for a second kid. We want to see, we want our son to be a big brother. We want the kids close in age and we're just grateful that Jedediah gets to become a brother soon. Um, and obviously we want it. We want more kids. Um, <clears throat> my next topic is just to share with you guys, um, when the due date is, and some things, interesting things that has happened during my first trimester. So I am due April, mid-April. Um, so the baby's gonna be due around springtime. And I'm currently um, 17 weeks. So I'm almost out of the fourth month. So I'm out of my first trimester, but I'm almost five months pregnant. Um, but right now I'm still four and I wanted to talk about the first trimester. Um, most people didn't know we were even having a kid until a few weeks ago. And the reason being is because um, when I first found out a couple weeks later, um, we had like a small scare where I was having some vaginal bleeding and that caused for me to be placed on bed rest. And so I spent my first month of pregnancy on bed rest at home with my son. And as grateful as I was to be home during that time to take care of my son too, um, I was just nervous and worried that I could have possibly lost um, the baby. So I was doing the best I could to just kind of get rest and take care of myself as much as I could during that time. And we are far past the first trimester, which is great, and we are both, baby and I are both doing great, which is good, but it was a scare, and that's the reason for me and Pedro and to choose not to tell anyone so soon, because last time when we were pregnant with Jedediah, I feel like everyone knew before I was even like two months pregnant. I found out like mid-December, and we told, people found out like a couple weeks actually, because I found out 
mid or early December. Wait, no, I found out mid-December and our family knew before the new year. So I feel like everyone knew super early with Jedediah and because of that scare, it was like, let's wait and not share the news with anyone. The only person that absolutely knew the whole situation was my mom. And that's only because I felt the need to have to tell someone in case something were to happen. I would have someone, someone support, someone that could help me through that. Um, but thankfully, we didn't have to go through that route. Um, and then probably like a week or two weeks before I was going to tell the rest of like our families, um, my sister came to visit and I was having some horrible symptoms and vomiting all day that day and so I had no choice I felt like but to tell her because I already had lied to her for almost a month prior and so while she was here I told her but I did not tell anyone else uh, my grandma and my dad came to visit I had ultrasounds on the refrigerator I think my grandma was the only one that noticed the ultrasounds but she didn't say anything she was kind of assuming it might have been Jedediah's but they weren't <laughs> but she didn't ask me anything but I had some suspicion that she knew. Uh, my grandma was super smart when it comes to stuff like that. But other than that, no one found out until like October 16th, I think it was. My family and Pedro's family found out. And then the following week was when we shared it with some of our closest friends. And then Halloween weekend was when we posted it on our son's Instagram account. And then the next week was when I posted my first video about it. Um, so, that's how we found out, how we shared the news, and how far along I am. Um, um, just kind of the last topic really I want to cover is just how I'm feeling and how I've been through the first trimester. Um, like I mentioned, I um, have this prior health issue which causes me to have a ton of migraines and so I have been dealing with headaches and migraines my entire pregnancy and that has been very hard to do because like I mentioned in the beginning of this video I am a sixth grade teacher so I do work Monday through Friday and I'm around kids all day long and so to have to be at work um, teaching with kids and then come home and take care of Jedediah and on the weekends just like I feel like I'm always doing something that requires my attention and my energy and so that's kind of hard to do with um, pain in your head all damn day so I do that's like the biggest downfall to um, this pregnancy along with my last was just the fact that I get extremely bad migraines <clears throat> Aside from migraines, the only other symptoms or side effects really to my pregnancy I've had is kind of just food aversions, like nothing ever sounds good to eat. And whatever I do eat, I feel like I, I'm just forcing myself to eat. Um, I try to mentally prepare myself to eat, but sometimes I can eat, sometimes I can't. If I have a migraine, there's no way I'm eating because uh, most likely it's going to get thrown up. Um... So what else? Aside from that, um, I feel like I was really tired my first trimester. I feel like I'm still pretty tired, but I honestly I can't tell if it's me being tired or just me exhausted from having headaches all the time. But I do feel like generally the pregnancy hasn't been too difficult. Like the actual pregnancy hasn't been bad it's just the fact that I get headaches and migraines is the part that makes it so hard if I didn't have these headaches and migraines every day I feel like I would be thriving as a pregnant person but the fact that I do it sets me back makes me feel miserable even though it has nothing to do with being pregnant so that kind of sucks um, that's pretty much all the topics that I wanted to cover in this video um, I'm going to finish off my makeup and getting ready for work, and then I will end the video here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below, and I will answer them. Um, but be on the lookout because 
Some of my videos will be um, like regular video content, but I will also be including more um, updates on like Jedediah soon and um, how things are going moving forward. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. And I'll be right Hey guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and have been enjoying the consistency on my channel. We'll see you next time. Say bye, handsome. Bye-bye.